Here's a noisy Chrysler 300 with a lock center tensioned accessory drive. In order to determine if the noise is a chirp or a squeal, one method is to spray the rib side of the belt with water. If the noise gets louder, it's technically a squeal and therefore a tension issue rather than misalignment. First, disconnect the battery for safety's sake. Since this is a locked center tension drive, the adjustable idler pulley should be inspected first. Spin it to check for lockup, binding, or a gravelly sound. If it freewheels, the grease is gone. Also, check for free rock. A little is okay, but too much means the pulley should be replaced. Next, inspect any remaining pulleys in the drive and replace if defective. If all the pulleys check out or defective ones have been replaced, the next step is to put a new deco belt on the drive and tension it correctly. The old belt is probably ruined due to excessive slip and glazing. The initial tension should be set according to the recommendation of Deco belt engineers. This six rib belt should be tensioned to 35 pounds per rib or 210 pounds. Use a tension gauge designed for multi-rib belts to test the tension. This first reading is 120 pounds. Continue tensioning and gauging until the correct tension is reached. This belt is now tensioned to the recommended tension of 210 pounds. Remember this number. Here's an alert. The next step is usually skipped, which is the cause of most tensioning problems with serpentine belts on locked center drives. Start the engine and run in the belt for three to five minutes. This will warm the belt slightly and allow it to seat into the pulleys on the drive. After the run-in, recheck the tension. This belt now registers 150 pounds of tension instead of the initial 210 pounds. There are no video tricks here. This is a real reading. If the customer had driven away without a run-in, they would immediately have an under-tensioned belt destined to squeal and return. After the run-in, the belt should be retensioned to 30 pounds per rib or 180 pounds. Now the belt is correctly tensioned. With correct tensioning, the belt can now perform as it was designed to without slipping or belt squeal. The same run-in and retensioning procedure should also be used for V-belt drives. Consult DACO's Facts and Data Catalog for correct belt tensioning data. The previous procedures were for locked center tensioned accessory drives. If squeal occurs in a drive with an automatic tensioner, replacing the tensioner should restore proper tension and remedy the noise problem. An accessory drive is a highly engineered precision system of which the serpentine belt is only one element. When belt noise is the problem, the solution may lie with any of the drive's elements. Use the procedures just presented to make sure all the elements are functioning correctly and don't always blame the belt.